To understand the Greenskin, one must know how their history intertwines with that of the Empire. Before the Empire was even formed, tribes of men existed and they fought amongst each other. Their survival was tested when the Greenskins migrated from the east, and it's 30 years before the founding of the Empire when a twin-tailed comet sailed through the sky. On the other side of the world, in Lustria, there was the birth of Sotek, the serpent god. In the lands of men, you had the Umberogen tribe. On a corpse-strewn battlefield, a dying woman gave birth to a boy. He was the son of Bjorn, the chief of that tribe, and was named Sigmar. He grew fast and sturdy. By age 15, he appeared to be a fully grown man, and had already fought in many battles. That is when he led his first raid against a greenskin camp, and in that camp, he found the High King of the Dwarfs, Kurgan Ironbeard. After that rescue, that is when an ancient alliance was formed. Many years later, on the foreign shores of Lustria, man's ancient enemy still does exist, and it's up to Marcus to hunt them down. The Savage Orcs are coming. We now return where Skeggy is nearby. We've already sacked it, but we need to get rid of it. If I burn it down, maybe the New World Colonies will claim it. If they do, they'll grow in power. I don't want to overextend. I'm okay with not having a lot of land. I don't need a lot of land. I just need to destroy a particular amount of enemies. Let's go back up here where Marcus is located. And for what I need to do right now, I need to raid any Lizardman location. While I'm up here, I could go destroy Mazda Mundi and move away. Though Mazda Mundi could prove to be a buffer for future enemies. Let's have a look. You're fighting Clan Gnaw, Skeggy, and the Blue Vipers too. No, maybe you've got to die. Now, if I destroy Mazda Mundi, I wouldn't need to worry about losing my lands up north. Well, Grey Rock Point could be an issue. That crazy singing lady could certainly do some damage to me. Well, why don't we take Skaggy and actually expand up here? I just did not consider actually taking out Mazamundi, but now I feel the compulsive need to do so. We can rename these locations too. Trickster's Helm, plus to armor, plus 70 melee defense, and a 10% ward save. The Silver Bullets, Handgunners, now those are extremely effective units, and we have the White Wolves too, which is a regiment of renown for Huntsmen. The White Wolf is a fitting symbol for Ulrich, God of Battle and patron deity of these versatile infantrymen of Middenheim. My hostility has gone back up, I'll get a care package in 30 turns, and we have more enemies to Huntsman fight. General. Now, why don't you pick up a few units here, Huntsman General? You're very good at what you do, and I want you to go pick them up. I might move a few of them over to his army, if he's going to keep on helping me out. Sigmar's Will, here we go, plus three to Untainted. In defense of the future, Hertwig is resolved to cleanse the world of its myriad impurities, and it will enable flaming attacks for him, which is quite effective when fighting the undead or anything that has regeneration. And for Jorik Grimm, what could we pick up today? Well, why don't we get more ammunition? We'll have him requisition. If a master engineer wants something, he'll get it. Quartermasters can rarely refuse a demanding guild engineer. Then finally, Marcus leveled up too. He levels up so darn quickly. I'm very unhappy about that. Trust me, I'm not complaining. All right, Hunter's Snare is really what I want, but why don't we finish out what we have over here? Impervious to attack, providing plus 10 to melee defense and plus 10% to missile resistance. Marcus Wolfheart seems to almost bend the air around him. Arrows and blades just seem to glance off, if they even connect. Marcus okay, so now we can wait here. I don't have the money for another army, not yet, but we're getting closer to that point. You can wait right there. We'll need a good name for these regiments of renown outside of the White Wolves. Those will stay with us here. I do want them to eventually join Marcus, and what we could do instead, we could change it out a little bit. The White Wolves shall replace another group, another group of my Bamberg Freikor. There we are. And I could get rid of more archers, but no, I do need some of them to stay with me. Now you've got two groups of archers, and I get to have that special group of huntsmen. Plus, I do make them cheaper. 48 missile damage right now with what I have. Immune to psychology. Naturally, they can fire while moving. 
They encourage nearby units. They have a range of 160, better than what we have for our archers, which is only 120. Yeah, anti-large. Now, what are we looking at for anti-large? Their reload time is only 6.1. What about my normal huntsman? 7.6. They're a lot faster. Wow. I have a feeling whenever they get into a battle, it's going to be pretty monumental. Okay, Skaggy. I know that you only belong to me right now, but I could always let you burn down later. There's a few options. Or I wonder, could we one day have them confederate with me? That would be ideal if I could just have them join me. Can they do that? They can't do that, but that's okay. We'll get a defensive alliance and military access too. Okay. I think that'll be sufficient. There we are. I mean, I still get money. It's money that I wasn't going to get otherwise. And if it burns down, maybe they'll take it. Now we can end our turn. It looks like the fat lady who sang is coming down. Or at least one of her agents. Old Tricky Dick here. Dick the Treacherous. Ah, uh, yes. Treacherous Dick. You cannot trust him. He comes from Grey Rock Point. We might end up campaigning up here for a period of time just to cleanse the lands of all evil. Now, it's time for me to head on over to the Ziggurats of Dawn. But before I can do that, I should probably be mindful of what's going to be coming trail. towards me. Refuse. Here we go, Lost Erickson. Marcus, I could on. ambush you. Yeah, why don't I try to ambush you right now? We'll bring Captain out my General. other army led by Captain General Ethan Strider. I'm now making 537. Having that port was not a bad idea. Oh, what's happening now? Provincial instability, faction issues, taxes are an issue. Corruption is a huge problem for me. I don't have to tax you, but if we have a rebellion, so be it. All right. Now it's time to wait right here. You're not going to be able to ambush, but we can end our turn. So right now we just need to raid a location belonging to the Vampire Coast. We'll go do that for sure. I need iron and timber. And I've got to search any ruined settlement for treasure. Yeah, we've got jobs to do. I did a lot of them in part one. But now we just need to raid some lands belonging to Mazda Mundi. Destroy Mazda Mundi. Destroy anyone close by. And we'll see where that leads us. Right now, Lost Erickson of the Cool are coming to attack. It's going to be a very difficult campaign today. We've got a lot of very powerful enemies. Savage Orcs are just really terrible to fight. And Norsemen, they've got that melee advantage. What I would like to do eventually is to build up a much stronger infantry army, but that will take time. You can see where all of my enemies are at right now. I've got my war wagons moving away. We're trying to get rid of these horse masters. They're pretty darn strong. They can deal a lot of damage. There goes my war wagons right now, shooting and driving away. That was a beautiful volley. So here comes their major army. Right now, our leaders Cholera and Marcus are moving back towards our lines. They're going to shoot and run. Our lines are way over here. Captain Ethan Strider will be helping out too. I might be over expanding, but I can't help it. I want to do that. Fighting Mazda Mundi will be the true challenge though. So here is the battle at hand right now. You can see where all of my units are moving. You can see that we've done a lot of damage to them already. Their leader, their chieftain, Lost Erickson, is nearly done for. If we get rid of him early on, that would certainly really skew things in our favor. Then their units will probably break a bit faster. If we leave him there, he could end up getting 20, 30, 40, 50 kills or more. Here comes another enemy attack. They're on their way. And he's out of here. Marcus Wolfhard killed their chieftain. But look at how quick they are. They're already just moving and charging in. It's going to be a tough fight. Our war wagons, again, still moving away. Unfortunately, they're at the very edge of the map. One group will have to leave the map. The other one will. They'll try to stay. That's a lot of throwing weapons, dealing quite a bit of damage to our wagons. These are fine wagons, too. You can't just break it down. You didn't pay the fee. Okay, now you're paying the fee. Bunch of barbarians. So while that's going on, we can go back to the front lines where Ethan Strider will be joining us very soon. The Norsemen are still on their way right now. Except for him, he's not. Yeah, 
those two, they're not showing up. They weren't invited anyway. Let's have a look at my formation. Infantry on the front lines. I've got my archers behind. Eventually, I will need to split up my heroes. I can't have that many heroes in one army, or I won't be able to support my ranged units fully. They're good. Don't get me wrong. They're very good. But we need actual infantrymen or horsemen to help out. I won't always have our Captain General here. Here comes a big wave of them. Usually my plan is to try to draw them out towards me and to shoot them up. I mean, that's where my strength really lies. They've gotten quite a few kills. What I'm more concerned about is fighting Savage Orcs. Sure, in a prolonged battle, I can deal a lot of damage, but trust me, Savage Orcs are quite damaging. There is an Oil Flask. And I cannot wait to get those two snares from Cholera and Marcus Wolfhard. It'll limit the movement of my foes quite a bit. Look at all these arrows just flying into them. We get to move back slightly. Tis but a flesh wound. More of them are charging in now. There's Jorik with his big, <laughs> his gigantic hammer. He's like, look, there's a problem that I just need to nail down or hammer down. He doesn't like nails that aren't hammered down. It's a problem of his, and he views every manling as that. Well, at least every Norskin manling. So he's going to shoot and hammer his way to victory. Roderick is fantastic. I could leave him here for sure. He's been great to have. He's quite powerful. Van Hal and Jorik are good, but I don't really need them in my current army, so they might even join Ethan Strider later. It is like we have our own little adventuring party, but we can't keep it for all time. It wouldn't be right. Delivery boys again. If you don't pay for your freaking postage, man, I'm going to have to blow you up. <laughs> no, everyone is doing fine. What I really enjoy using is a special unit right over here. My silver bullets. They're very good. 49 kills and my Drakwald patrol. These guys can deal so much damage over... How much damage? Wow. Over 30. And then for my silver bullets, only 27. 74 kills and counting for my Drakwald patrol. If you just flank your foes, I mean, they can output so much damage. And now they've broken, so now they're fleeing. We've won the battle. The battle's now over. We've just been raining down bullets and arrows on them. We've won the battle now, so we can move on to much tougher affairs. Lost Ericsson didn't make it very far. He gave me a lot of gold, though. He's very kind for that. Let's take more gold by letting a few of them go, because I'll be out there later destroying his faction. Originally, I wasn't going to conquer these locations, but I'm being greedy. Oh, Road Dog Coden, I know you. You're the guy who used to belong to the guy that died. A new trait gained. Superior attacker. Okay. Achieved victory from multiple offensive battles. Plus four to leadership. 30% increase to leadership aura size. And plus four to melee attack. Not bad at all. Elector pledges aid. Giving me a sword of striking. Which is a bit redundantly named. All swords are swords of striking. And 1,000 gold. Well, I won't make fun of you too much. You did give me gold. Follower gain, tradesmen, providing 8% more income for trade. And there we are. Okay, before we actually take that location, here's what we're going to do. Ethan Strider will wait back here. He's going to put down any rebellion that pops up. I'll give him more units if he needs it. Then Marcus will go back to go handle that Lizardman army. At hostility level 5, we usually have some new Lizardman army popping up. We had it happen before. There's no reason for it to not happen again. If I can save the New World Colonies, I will try to, but I never know if I can or cannot. Let's go over to the Monolith now. It's a small garrison, so I can auto-resolve that one. Let's occupy. Now we own a new area. Hostility has gone up to level 3. It's about to be level 5. He's getting a new trait called Brave. Insane Courage. Clearly rolled at double 1. And so you've gained what? Plus 4 to your charge and plus 5 to your leadership. 
Speaking of things that have changed, I'm going to give you that charmed shield, by the way. Yeah. Oh, I gained a seed of rebirth. That provides replenishment in combat. Eating a seed from this small troll skin leather pouch will imbue the consumer with regenerative abilities. Not bad at yeah, all. Right. Why don't you take that helm, for one, and a new blade, Marcus. There we are. We're all better and happier for it. Ethan Strider, hey, time for you to go that. back to Skeggy. Get a move on. I could have you go back home and defend, but you don't have the numbers for that. On the hunt. Okay, level 17. I'll provide for you hard to hit. That puts him up to 67 melee defense. That's very high, by the way. Cholera, she's rank 9. Let's put a point over into piercing shots. She's at 560 for missile damage. Roderick Langi. We'll put a point into Deadly Blade. I want him to be able to actually connect and battle and hit things. And Hertwig Van Hal. Magic resistance. The Witch Hunter keeps many blessed relics on his person to protect him against arcane attack. And finally, Jorik. Jorik will provide benefits for my entire ranged army. He's going to go find some more ammunition for me. And while we're here, let's build a guardhouse. And while we're looking around, why don't we go to the Scorpion Coast and build a tier 2 economic building, a clothier. The clothier turns the bolts of cloth from mere linen to garments, anything from shirts to large frilly pantaloons. I don't go killing with without my large frilly pantaloons. Lanchula, you've got to be tier 3 because we need you to have a guardhouse and eventually walls too. Who leveled up? Ethan Strider. I'll put a point into Reassuring Presence. I want him to get Quartermaster to reduce his army's upkeep. Now we can go to the Ziggurat of Dawn. Then our Lord can go back home to go Engage fight some Lizardmen. There we are. An easy enemy to defeat. The Norsemen did not have the numbers sufficient to take on the Hunts Marshal. Ruins in. Plus three leadership whenever fighting against Chaos and Norska. Not bad. And now we're at level four hostility. And one more turn, we'll get a care package right away. But also a Lizardman army. We've gained a Messenger too, increasing our movement. Glittering scales. Oh, that's a good debuff for enemies nearby. At level 18, let's give over to our good friend. Not devastating charge, but full plate armor. If he gets shot at, I want him to be able to endure it. Plus seven armor is really not too shabby. And for you, Roderick, we'll give you Foe Seeker. I want you to have more speed and vigor in combat. I can't build that landmark yet. That's okay. What I'll build for now is a tap room. If someone burns it down, so be it. But I've got to try to manage our issues here. Then again, I could just build a guardhouse. I mean, that would be like option two. Imperial Wharf, 100 gold. Which is not really a lot. It's okay, though. Marcus it's really okay. Walmart. I mean, it's providing a lot more gold for me, which is quite nice. But now he's going to head back home and handle that business. I do have some missions to take care of, but it will take time for me to get them done. Because, again, we're about to have rebellions and we've got some orcs to kill. But if we do lose the New World Colonies, I'll reconquer these locations and all will probably be okay. Not famine in the Empire. They're way over there and I'm way over here, but somehow I've got to be concerned. No, they are our people. I am concerned. So, I believe I've already gone through this event. Which means we could just choose something to do about it. Because I have a lot of hunters, deer are eating things, and there's a big issue happening. Okay, I do not want things to pop up to rank 5 tensions just yet. Diverted supplies is really easy to deal with. It's only minus three to growth. I'll take it. Send food. We've got lizard. A lot of lizard. I hope you like eating that. Okay, Marcus, come on down, buddy. What I could do, I could begin a war with our orc friends. For now, though, I want to build up that guardhouse. Later, I'll build some type of resource building building over here, but... Until then, I do need timber. I need timber and iron for our good dwarf, our master dwarf, but we don't have iron yet. I'll have to pick that up. All right, let's have a look at you, Ethan. Ethan, how do you feel? You're in New Marienburg, right? It's about time for you to get some new units eventually, though you can't afford it yet. We do have supplies over here. They are free to recruit, which is quite nice, but I'm going to save it up. 
for when we need it. Here we go, Endurance. When it comes to the Art of Survival, there is no one who can match Cholera's finely honed abilities. Minus 20% to Attrition, all Attrition, and a plus 20% Ambush Defense Chance. We will never be ambushed, and it's great. Okay, Jorik Grim. You now have level 3 Requisition, providing 20% more ammo for all of my ranged units. My god, what an army. It's like a D&D &D adventuring group. It's like we're in Cholt. Here's really the main reason why I didn't want to get my reinforcements yet. I wanted to wait for my new technology. Imperial reinforcements. If you've got a problem and no one else can help, call the Empire's best to settle the issue once and for all. So now we get an additional detachment of reinforcements with every Imperial supplies delivery. That's really darn good. I'm very happy about that. Strict for Captain Ethan Strider. Okay. Plus one to public order. Every now, Marcus. I want you to get ready for that attack, or we could go after the Temple of Kara. That might be what we end up doing, though I do not want to lose Hunter's Bastion. I don't know if they'll take it from me or not. Research available. Let's look at what we can pick up. We do need more public order. Ooh, Imperial University would be great for new agents, but I've got too many. Though I do need one for our good buddy, Captain Ethan. Let's have a look over here. There's a lot of really good things out here, too. My god. It's incredibly good. Plus 15 to infantry armor. That's really good too. I think I'm going to pick that up. As much as I want to deal more ranged damage. Let's pick that up. So we'll pick up state troop standards. As regiments gain renown, their standards become talismans that are just as important as their sword arms. Plus 5 to the leadership, plus 5% to infantry speed. Even though I could use more money. Like local militia would be great. But I'm going to finally buff up my units a little bit. I haven't been doing that at all lately. Okay. Minus 5. Over here is minus 11. They're very unhappy. I could cancel out their taxation for right now. To help out. It's only minus 1. Here, I'll tax you instead. I won't tax you for now. Because you're very unhappy and you're whining about it. Here's a few cheap spearmen. They're not great, but I'll take them. I'll take them for now. It looks like right now, the Blue Vipers are beating the New World Colonies. I'll come over here to help out. Hopefully, they'll come help me out, because I could lose it all here. That wouldn't be great. But I've made my choice. We're about to have rebellions. We're going to lose some lands up north. If we do, so be it. i got to go fight right now, though. I'm not planning on holding every location without losing it once or twice. Okay, Savage Orcs, I have you now. Time to occupy. A camp follower, minus one to wound recovery time. We've completed another mission. Now we have 500 more gold. Hey, how about that? And new supplies too. Great swords, halberdiers, huntsmen. I think what I want for right now would be advanced war machine reinforcements. Sure, they're not cheap. But I really do enjoy the idea of having two more war wagons with mortars and a steam tank. I want to try to build a mechanized infantry theme. It won't be easy or cheap, but I still want to do it. A new mission issued. Okay. Not hard to do. Here we go. Children of the Old Ones. They are retaliating. Now they're heading towards me. I've been condemned. My enemies are stronger. But here we go. Additional reinforcements. Two handgunners and one group of howadiers. Look at that. Marcus We're much stronger now. Okay, at rank 19, you can pick up a point over in full plate armor. And over here, we probably General. need some more units. Okay, my friend. I'm going to give you not a steam tank, even though I want to. Trust me. I'm going to give you two groups of handgunners. You could use that extra firepower. Trust me. It'll make a big difference. We could take one more unit. A group of great swords would be better for you. Now we're losing gold, but not too much gold. What's over here? What can we build to help out? A tap room could help out, sure. I can't upgrade the walls yet. At least there are walls to upgrade. Yeah, there are walls to upgrade. Well then, we're going to build a tap room. Your garrison is very small. I mean, I guess I could wait for the gold. Yeah, it's only one turn. If we lose it, we lose it. But if we can hold on to it, I'll build that wall and help out. Okay, can you do anything while you're here? Not really. You could just kind of wait here. Let's hope that we can actually get a win. 
Hertwig Van Hal. We'll put a point over into Magic Resistance one more time. You've got a 10% ward save. And we need to issue a new commandment. All right. Well, I want more growth right now, so we'll take that. Temple of Kara. You can keep that barracks. I don't need the one over in Fort Westward. Another mission completed. The Drowned declared war on the New World Colonies, which means we're in a new war now. Another rebellion. Oh, we're getting it today. Rebellions left and right. Okay, you no longer have a full Officer army. General. Ethan Strider will head back Base over here to New Marienburg. Yeah, go do that. The orcs will probably take a location belonging to us. I mean, at New Marienburg, I can defend it. Let's build up those basic walls. I want better defenses. We've got some lizard men to kill. But instead, I would love to go after that major town. If I can take it, they'll be weaker. And again, if I lose any camps, I'll retake it. I mean, look, we're having to overextend. It's quite understandable that we might have a few issues. Okay, Westward, I want you to make me more money for now. I need a lot of money, so we'll take that Weaving House. 250, not bad. Imminent Rebellion, I'm well aware. Here, let's tax him for that extra gold. Now I'm actually making a little bit of gold. Only a little bit, though. The Vassal of Nakai, the late Nakai, gave me 2,000 gold for a peace treaty. Well, thank you. I did need that. Okay, more leadership, you say? Foolish Vainglory? I'm all about that. Oh, look at who's right by me, though. They're coming to attack me. That should be interesting. I can't really afford too much, so I'll take one unit. It's going to be in my halberdiers because I will need some more infantry. We'll hold up over here. Maybe they'll help me out. I think they might come over here to fight with me. That would be great. While that's going on... Oh, there they are. Lizard men. Hunter's Bastion. You don't have what you need. Could I make it back there in time? I don't really know if I could. They'll probably burn it down. I'm sure they will. I'd rather go after the Blue Vipers, really. If I leave you alone, you could come over to Hunter's Bastion, which might have a better chance of surviving. You know what? Let's come on down. I've only done what I've done to help out our good buddies right over here, the New World Colonies. I mean, they're the ones who are causing me to overextend a little bit more. I could have burned things down, but it's actually providing quite a bit of gold. It's been lucrative for me because back at home, I now have more things to fight with. Three more turns until hostility goes down. I've got a 11 unit army here. If I could just keep it up, then we can go fight. We can fight and do a little bit more. If it wasn't for that Lizardmen army, we could have gone on with our campaign, but because they pop in every time we get to level five, they're gonna hold me back just a little bit. They've got a lot of pterodons and these cannot last for long, but they can do a lot of damage to my ranged units. You can see how many arrows we're just sending their way, though. Huntsmen and archers, all striking them. Some fell down. So we get to wait here for a little while. We've got our infantry on the front lines, all of our ranged units behind. We've got some friends coming in to help out, too. A garrison. My Drakwald patrol is shooting down a lot of pterodons, but here comes a charge now. And they have bombs, too. Well, stones. Lizardmen call them bombs. Well, okay. Now that I see that, they might be. That's really so much damage. They did a good job. That took out a lot of my men, but here comes more of them. And keep in mind, they are unbreakable. So not only do we have a new army coming in, they're unbreakable too. You just clobbered that man's arm off. It's pretty rude of me, by the way. More damage to my front lines. Another dead Pterodon. Here comes an enemy leader, and there are many infantry units too. Roderick is like, come over here, let me hit you with my blade. Good job. So we zoom out now to see how the battle is playing out. I'm holding right over here on the left flank. I'm bringing in my mini garrison infantrymen. They're just kind of there to help me hold. Just a little bit more infantry can make the biggest difference in the world. Swordsmen are holding on the front lines. I've got a need for some better infantry. Or just really upgrades for them. 
Jory Grimm is taking a lot of damage. He's being hit by that source old blood. My delivery boys have killed over 50 so far. We've got my war wagons out here shooting some skinks. And pterodons are not going to make it. With a massed volley, their cohorts are dropping like skink flies. While that's going on, we can continue to flank other enemies with our lords and heroes. Just holding them back. No, we're just fighting some of the more aggressive factions for sure. Lizardmen and Savage Orcs. I can handle some Norsemen. Not a problem. I won't lose too many fighting Norsemen. I won't lose too many fighting the Vampire Coast. But Lizardmen and the freaking Savage Orcs. And I could even handle Lizardmen. But it's really the Orcs who concern me a lot. You can see that our infantry is unable to beat them on their own. They're unbreakable, and they're just really strong. So it'll be up to my range units to come in later. We can see how few remain now. That was a good volley, a well-placed volley. Come on, swordsmen. You can beat them back. And while they all fight, we just need to finish off those who remain over on the rightmost of our flank. Jorik took an extensive amount of damage. He wasn't wounded though. There goes an old blood, but he nearly got wounded by that old blood. Roderick has killed 57. The guy is a juggernaut of warfare. I mean, he is here to take down some lizard men. Look at him go. Staggered. He's like, all right, let me just wake up real quick and go back in. And he charges back in. He just had to wake up. It was a sobering attack. Did you send one of our own guys flying? Okay, well, I'm, I'm sure he's fine. He is. He's like, just put a flesh wound again. The white wolves are close by. They're very clean in their overall design. And how many kills do you have right now? My Drakwald's patrol, over 130 kills. They shot that group to bits. Now there's only one group left. I've brought in my garrison's crossbowmen to flank them. So they're going to do a lot. They're all going to die soon. They're not dying yet. Oh, tree in a way. Pardon me, tree. Crossbows do have more range, and I believe they could take on unarmored units, but I'm kind of hard-pressed to want to use them, at least anymore. No, right now, tactically, I'm winning my fights, but strategically, I'm in a very compromised position because I've been trying to save the New World Colonies. I don't have to. I could ignore them, but I'm trying to also play a story here, and if they are wiped out, we could rebuild those locations, and we will, but I'm doing my best to keep them alive. It's very challenging as you might be able to imagine they've got Masamundi and friends but we've won now they've all died except for a handful let's shoot them down that was a big decisive victory all right we'll take the gold again I could use all of that gold if I want to recruit more units up north entire faction gone we've gained a new unit a regiment of renown the tatter souls those are really good to have too and Zentler's Reichsguard for some horsemen. We don't usually have those. Rank 20 for Marcus Wolfhard. We'll put a point over here into Scarred Veteran. No, he's going to be even tougher to take down. And for you, Cholera, a point into Piercing Shots. 587 for Missile Damage. Higher than before. Roderick Lange. You need a point over here in Woundmaker. I want him to be able to hit even harder. And for you, Jorik. We can put a point into triangulation. You can increase the damage for everyone. Wait, hold on, hold on. Before we do that, increase mobility and extra 5% movement. Okay, look at all that gold I have now. I could use it to invest. I could use it to recruit more units. Oh, doing that wouldn't be easy, but you've got a lot of banners. Hey, I'm going to give that over to my great swords, that griffin banner. A steel standard will give it to you. I want you to be able to move quickly, and even more leadership. We'll give it to Spearmen, because you know they need it. 
All right, hopefully the New World Colonies will come over here to help out. If not, we're in big, big trouble. I just need his little army to come over here and fight. All right, so now I need to try to make more money while I'm out here. 2,500 for the Tailor's Guild. Not bad. What about back down here? Okay, let's upgrade. Two locations to upgrade. I'll upgrade the Temple of Kara. We need walls everywhere. Here we go, more money. That's how I'm going to make a lot more money. And now... If we can move further out, let's move further out. It's time to go kill some Savage Orc. In two more turns, they'll lose their nice benefit of 10 leadership, 25% more weapon strength, and minus 5 to my own public order. Not bad at all. Okay, New Marienburg. I hope you can hold out. We've completed some technology. Not bad. Severe for Captain General Ethan Strider. And 5,000 gold from another elector. Whoa. I really did need that. So we're still not able to fight them off. That's okay. I'll deal with it. Now we can move over here to the west. But I wonder, do they want a peace treaty? If they do, then I can go fight other people. I doubt they do. No, they do not. Okay. The drowned probably do not want one either. Even though they're much weaker. Alright, fine. Instead... Oh, Mazda Moody is getting ready to conquer more land. Not bad. I could lose the Temple of Kara, or I could conquer my way through them. We're going to conquer our way right through them. Whatever I lose, so be it. And while I'm here, another Tailor's Guild. Anything I make, I need to put it back into my lands. I mean, it's been worthwhile. It's been drawing my enemies to us. It's been allowing me to upgrade my buildings back at home. Another Tailor's Guild. That's a lot of gold. It's all going to add up quickly. And we're about to get another upgrade for our Acclaim. Mazda Mundi will probably want to fight soon. Okay, my hostility is gone. And now I've got to conquer more Blue Viper lands. Oh, Teclis, you're nearby. Really? Okay, he's alive. Why don't I go after that capital, even though I can conquer another town nearby? Yeah, we'll head right over here. We can search some ruins, too. Oh, hello. I see all of you. Yeah, give me a turn, and I'll have all of you killed. Hertwig Van Hal. We'll put a point over here into survivalists, again, giving you more help. And elsewhere, the Drowned destroyed a large enemy army. Tricky Dick, he's here. You can't trust him, but he did help me out. Now, while I'm out here, what type of garrison am I looking at? A pretty decent one. I don't know if they could beat Tricky Dick. Well, maybe. If you've got a lot of scurvy dogs, maybe. Ethan Strider, you can hold out for a while yet. There's another rebel army here, though. <laughs> Two of them. Well, no, sorry. One, but also Blue Viper works, too. I'm trying to make my way up there. Don't die on me, Ethan. Please don't die. I do not like this battle one bit. We are heavily outnumbered. We could easily lose it all here. But we're going to try our best right now to not do that. Fortunately, there's a gap that we can defend. Unfortunately, we're heavily outnumbered, as I mentioned before. So here they come. They will surround me on my left and right flanks. Here's my left. And here's my right. They have so many mounted units. I don't really know what we're going to do, but right now, all of our heroes stand in a gap, fighting and defending, a, I mean, all together. It's pretty much a last stand. If we lose here, we lose it all. If we win, then at the very least, we can prolong our lives for another day. Follies are launching right in. If they would attack from only one direction, Sure, an easy victory, but they're not going to do that. My poor infantry have got to deal with so many attacks. They're not being properly supported either. Here comes more of them. That's why I might need to send my heroes, as I mentioned before, over to another army. I can have a few, but I can't have nearly as many because I need more infantry. Roderick will keep. Cholera, we will keep two. The other two can probably go join... Captain General Ethan Strider. Look at that. They're trying to move around my infantry to actually flank me. That's a really good call. That was a really good call. So here comes another group. While that's been going on, we've been able to use our delivery boys, our huntsmen, and whatever else we can 
to shoot more savage orcs. Though, what I did not know until after the fact, and what I've learned, their error boys are so much more damaging than I ever thought they would be. They deal so much damage in the future, I've got to focus on them first. You can see where, if I didn't have my heroes, we would all be very much dead right now. They've got their leaders close by too, so we'll have to kill them. Marcus is fighting one of... Wow, he just kicked a freaking war boss in the back. He's like, get out of here, punk. There goes a goblin. That goblin's got to die. Every leader they have has got to die. So now, let's check it out from a more tactical vantage point. Their two leaders are indeed fleeing. We can see that right now I'm losing a lot of soldiers. My Helmgart's boys are nearly wiped out. My forgotten halberds are holding from behind. We're being hit by a lot of biggins. They continue to charge in. The Wolfheart's Express is currently shooting, but not delivering any type of personnel to a new location. We've got over here, again, another war wagon and more infantry trying to hold out. My archers are being charged. They've been flanked. I mean, they have a charge bonus of 83. No wonder they hurt so much. And over here, we've got our leaders still pushing back a lot of their units. Their air boys have what? 22 for missile damage. 60 kills. Oh my god. They killed a lot of my infantry. Here comes a war boss again. The orc war boss is dead. Now we just need to wipe out a little goblin. Come on. He needs to go. Kill him. You can do it, Marcus. Did you cancel the shot? Maybe you did. Oh well. We'll get that goblin. So far, we've somehow held out. They broke, but they're charging in again. Cholera and Marcus together are helping out their swordsmen. And now, these two will go after that goblin boss. It's been an awful fight for us. On these flanks, we're just causing them to break now. That's been our only saving grace. It's just being able to hold out a bit longer than they can. That goblin boss is running away. Now it's time to destroy him and kill what's left of their infantry. There's no great wall for you. And now they've all broken, so we just need to chase down and kill as many as we can before the battle's all out. His head just popped off. So you saw the entire battle tactically and really close up. If you look at my army, we're torn to bits, but thankfully we did win. My Drakwald's patrol didn't have a great position to fire. I mean, we were just being charged at from every direction, but we did hold on. Cholera, 77 kills? My god. She's really strong. Anyway, let's move on, everyone. Another grand victory for the Empire. That was by far our closest battle yet. Their mounted units nearly annihilated all that I had. I mean, they destroyed a lot of my units. And in the future, I'm going to focus on their archers. I mean, look at that. 60 kills. They destroyed my swordsmen somehow. It was really their archers who did a lot of that damage. Good to know. Okay, I can't take your gold. I've got to take that replenishment or we're going to have another battle now. I guess we're about to find out. Come on now. What are you doing, Blue Vipers? I might even need to move back to replenish. I've never had to really do that before. Okay, plus two to public order and entertainer. I don't know how I found you. We've gotten Orcs Bane, plus three to leadership whenever fighting greenskins. Right, they came over here to attack my town and I was able to auto resolve it. It was a very easy win. Many dead enemies, good, good, good. Okay, if I attack, I'll lose it all. I'll lose a lot. So we're going to move back for right now. I've got to. There we are. I've got a new upgrade that I can utilize. We'll take Sigmar's Light. It's a lot of gold. But we can do that. I mean, look at how happy most of my locations are outside of what's over here. I wish you two would fight. Or maybe the New World Colonies could come help me, but they haven't done that yet. They haven't left. No, there's two armies over here, so I do kind of get it, but still. All right, we're now fighting a bit of a battle for survival. Surprisingly, it has not happened in a very long time. 
Roderick, what should I give you? Ladies Mantle? I think not. I'm gonna give you Wound Maker again. I just want you to hit hard. You've got some pretty good stuff. What about you, Jorik? Jorik, you could use some gear. I've got some gear for you. Yeah, debuffing our enemies? That sounds good. I mean, we don't have any magic to use. I wish we did. Here's a messenger for campaign movement range. Here's a pit fighter to capture more people and more public order. Okay, we have all that I need right now. So I haven't been able to accomplish my missions, not yet. These orcs have been incredibly hard. They usually are. Savage orcs are very tough early on. They actually came out to help me. That's really cool of them. Or maybe... Oh yeah, they are leaving, aren't they? Okay. Now they're raiding. We've got another enemy close by. Agitator plus one in public order. Okay. Well, I can get rid of that army. All right. Goodbye, Vigo. Now what I could do, I could bring in another unit or two to help out. For now, though, let's pick up Untainted. I want him to get rid of any taint around here. We'll be able to get Irrepressible. He'll be able to heal up quickly. Then we can pick up Lightning Strike and Quartermaster. We'll get those two. Actually, all of these are really good. Holy crap. I do have a lot of replenishment, but I could always use more. All right. I don't want you to attack that army on your own. I wish you could, but it just really wouldn't work out in your favor. I could come out close enough to help him out. That could be a decent idea. Like, what if I... Oh, okay. I can't do it in view of another faction's army. Now, a steam tank would help out, but I don't have the money for it. I truly do not. Okay, Marcus, let's come over here now and conquer that blasted capital. Engage targets. There we go. We finally took it. Mandate progressed. All right. So now we're at what? Rank three? Rank three. Yeah. Plus one for rank for any type of Imperial Supply unit. Not bad. Hostility has gone up by only one. And we finally have a very powerful capital. I don't need the rally field. Not here. I'll take that though. We're at 938 now. And you're level 21. Okay, there you go, Scarred Veteran. And for you, Cholera, let's see here. Prey of Anathorema, look at that. Cannot move for 16 seconds. So we will have two abilities where my enemies will not be able to move. And for you, Jorik Grimm, you'll take Triangulation to increase our overall damage. Oh, there you are, I see you now. You're pretty weak, hopefully my garrison can beat you. I don't know if they can though. Okay, let's build up that guardhouse. I need it. I've got some more gold. And while we're over here, Ethan Strider, it's about time for you to pick up a steam tank. Ah, mechanized infantry. How about that? We could go attack, but again, I don't know if you can win that. I mean, look at that charge bonus. 54. No wonder they were destroying us. My God. 46 over here. The biggins have 78. Okay, New World Colonies might be done for, but I'm going to rebuild them and make them better than ever. Then we've got to fight Mazda Mundi. Mazda Mundi doesn't like me too much. He's got big armies. So our war is still going to be ongoing. I'll probably raid their lands in order to complete that mission that's for my Amber Bow. Yeah, we can do that. Pirate Steel Plunder. One of the largest and fastest galleons of the Imperial Fleet was full of plundered Lustrian treasure and was making its way across the Great Ocean towards home. During the crossing, however, the ship was attacked, boarded, and taken over by a vampire admiral and his undead pirate crew. Alright, so I need to help out someone over here. Diverted funds, favor of Reichlin. Tensions would go up, I don't really want that right now. Diverted supplies, I think not. We'll take cut military budget. Yeah, we'll do that. Help me out, Nordland, help me out. Okay. Mazda Mundi took over a lot of land. Pawhawks, where are you at? Probably over here, I would imagine, to the northwest. There's a lot of lands close by. Let's get rid of that savage orc army. Okay. We should be safe for a time. I think I want that steam tank to join my main army here. I might have to divide up my heroes a little bit because we do need more actual infantry units to help me out. We don't have the numbers to hold any type of lines. A servant, reducing enemy action chances. Okay, we've gained a lot of followers. I'm not going to go through them all because we've just got so many. 
Rank 22, we now have Hunter's Snare. Yeah, it'll be better if I divide up my heroes a little bit because we do need to have more actual units. Hold on, do I have a weapon for you, Hertwig? Sort of battle, there you go. Yeah, we gave him Survivalist. Next, he'll be getting Slippery for that melee defense and speed. All right, and a new settlement upgrade, Fort Westward. Look at all that gold that I have now. Feels good. Feels really good. Okay, that would be rank three for an Empire Captain. I don't want another hero. Fort Westward is doing fine. Hunter's Bastion, we could use more walls there. 3,000, what about over here? Oh, look at that, a gem mine shaft. Even more gold. So what I might do then, I'll upgrade the Temple of Kara, which is what I've been doing. I can upgrade Hunter's Bastion. The Captain General could move down here. I can move Marcus back up north, let him invade from the north. Let the Captain General defend down here, keep our gold together. I'm at 595, got a pretty decent amount. He's actually building up a pretty decent army for what it is. I've got some elites here too. But over here, I could use some great swords. I could use some, not halberds, surprisingly. Halberds are just going to die quickly, but other units I could use. I might keep a few of my Imperial supplies just where they're at. And I've got to figure out a slightly better format. I'll probably move out Hertwig and Roderick. Or I could move Cholera into another army. But I like those two working together, so I might not do that. But I do need some more infantry staying power. 595 for income, but we shall call it here. Everyone, we've actually done a lot. Look at how much we've held on to. Now we've got to fight Mazda Mundi. Mazda Mundi needs to go. Over to the east, we have Skaven. Over to the south, we've got Itza with Gorok. And we've just got more to do. So look forward to more tomorrow. And until then.